but with it, basically the channel talks about how to produce justice for yourself and for the world we don't live in a just society but if you try you know maybe one day we might achieve that i want to go ahead and jump straight into the topic this is the the main subject that i've been harping on lately is just basically seeing people as they are don't think that people are humans you know being a human means that you're humane and people aren't humane so and and we live in an inhumane society so it just doesn't produce humane people it doesn't produce humans so what what you have is a bunch of animals you know that's what we have out here people act animalistically and in Robert Greene's new book, uh, which is a very good book, I, I recommend that you pick it up. He was talking about human nature and things like that. Even in his world, what he has seen um, from his perspective is, you know, most people are, are very animalistically. We act very animalistically. So that includes you and I. But at least we you know tend to try to improve ourselves and we recognize this about ourselves but a lot of people you know they just act on however they feel um but at the same time we're we're not above it either so that's just understanding yourself but back to the topic anytime you see a situation where you would think like an animal would get aggressive if a, if a person is being put in that situation expect that person to get aggressive, you know, expect all of that. If you, if you see things start, resources start getting tight, you know what I'm saying? Even a little bit, if you, even if somebody's talking about resources getting tight, expect everybody else to get tight too. Everybody's going to get mad, you know, cause that's how animals, uh, deal with situations like that. They fight over resources. They fight, you know what I'm saying? So, um, the human thing to do, the humane thing to do is to think logically. Why are the resources getting that way? What can we do about it? But people do not think logically first. They think emotionally and instinctually first. The only the people that kind of think logically are the people that are tr directly trying to counter uh, the system of white supremacy and then the white supremacists and trying to go about producing white supremacy in a scientific way like those are the only two categories of people that really consistently try to think logically but most people they're just going to react to however they feel and then justify it later with you know lies so um that's something to pay attention to you know people we we uh when you study things like influence and in sales people talk about well, scarcity is a way to influence people. The, the fear of loss is a, a way to influence someone. You know, people are more motivated to do things by the fear of losing something than the fear of gaining things. And if you really read through and in between the lines of what they're talking about, it's basically saying that people are animals. <laughs> people are animals, you know? That's describing an animal, you know, and uh, it's true. So, you know, that's how you need to go and, and understand the world. You know, study study the animal kingdom more. You know, study, and, and just that's how you'll understand people. And just look, look at, don't listen to anybody's words. Just look at their actions and you'll just see, you know, that people are acting like giraffes and, and, um, dogs and monkeys and apes and you know what i mean that's how people act so i i don't want to drag this out too too much longer but uh i think that's just the best way of going about understanding people uh one maybe one day we should all strive to be human beings though you know you should strive to think logically and that's how you can gain a foothold in the world and avoid some of these situations that cause people to really start acting out because you don't want to be in those situations where people are really acting out. You know what I'm saying though? So that's logically, think logically can help you avoid those situations. But even if you're in those situations, if you find yourself in a scenario, just to change the word um, like that, right? You should expect that you're going to turn into an animal too. You know, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
how else to say it, I think you should see yourself as an animal just so that you can understand your own behavior more. But uh, at the end of the day, um, yeah, people aren't human. So that's all I got. Peace. <laughs>